276 diligence. Presence of God, O God, make me diligent in your service, diligent and prompt in every duty. Meditation 1. A prudent man is also diligent. He carefully examines and selects the means best suited to his sanctification and diligently makes use of them. He hath done all things well, St. Mark said of Jesus, 7, 37. Speaking absolutely, such praise belongs only to Jesus, whose care and diligence in accomplishing the mission he had been given by his heavenly Father were most perfect and totally free from the smallest defect. Nevertheless, in due proportion, we should be able to say the same of a diligent person. In fact, this should be the program of his life, to do all things well. It is not enough to do good works, we must do them well, that is, not in a half-hearted sort of way, but with care, solicitude, and promptness, in a word, diligently. What distinguishes saints is not so much their great works, or the important position they may occupy in the church, but their perfect diligence, in the performance of every duty, even the humblest. It often happens, for example, that in a group of people, who lead the same kind of life, have the same duties, practice the same exercises of piety, austerity, and mortification, and perform the same apostolic works, some will reach a high degree of charity and union with God, while others will lead a mediocre life, the difference depending on the degree of diligence, greater or less, with which each one applies himself to the fulfillment of his duties. Diligence makes the soul attentive and alert in what is good, so that all its acts are vivified by charity, and accomplished with great exactness in every detail. He that feareth God neglecteth nothing a cell 7, 19. When this fear is not servile, but the fruit of love which avoids everything, that might be displeasing to God. It makes the soul so much the more diligent, as it is the more loving. 2. Diligence is the application of the soul in the prompt performance of good works. It makes men like the angels who fly with wonderful speed to fulfill God's commands then. John of Jesus Mary Promptness in doing good works is a special characteristic of diligence. The negligent person goes to his work unwillingly, slowly, and with needless delay, whereas the diligent man hastens to it cheerfully, with promptness and concern. The prompt doing of a thing that should be done, even when it would be more convenient to do something else, is the fruit of diligence. Above all, one who is bound to a definite rule of life, either privately or in a community, must observe it punctually and exactly. In fact, any rule which has been approved by one who represents God is, for the soul who is bound to it, a manifestation of the divine will which must be carried out without delay or postponement. Punctuality exacts self-discipline and detachment. It often asks us to interrupt some interesting, pleasant work in order to give ourselves to another kind, perhaps less attractive or less important. However, it would be a great mistake to esteem our duties and to dedicate ourselves to them according to the attraction we have for them, or according to their more or less apparent importance. All is important and beautiful when it is the expression of the will of God, and the soul, who wishes to live in this holy will at every minute of the day, will never omit the slightest act prescribed by its rule of life. 
to prolong what we are doing beyond the prescribed time, or to dispense ourselves from a duty, without a serious reason, is to abandon the will of God. It shows an attachment to our own will, and often enough, to our own convenience. In carefulness not slothful, in spirit fervent, serving the Lord wrote St. Paul, to the Romans, 12, 11, and to the Ephesians he recommended, See therefore, brethren, how you walk circumspectly not as unwise, but as wise redeeming the time, wherefore, become not unwise, but understanding what is the will of God, 5, 15 to 17. Colloquy O Lord, meditating in your presence, I understand that the best remedy for carelessness and laxity in performing my duties is charity. I must strive to do everything for love with the special intention of pleasing you. How gracious of you, my God, and how fortunate for me, a poor nothing, to be able to work in order to please you. This thought makes me want to sacrifice everything with joy. O oh Lord, your words console me and renew my youth as an eagle's. Yes, sometimes I succeed better and more surely by repeating to myself do this, because it is pleasing to God, instead of simply saying, it is my duty. O oh Lord, all I can do is already owed to you and will always be less than what I should do. Yet your divine goodness likes to give me the consolation of thinking that I am acting freely and generously when I work diligently in order to please you, not only in carrying out my duties, but also in works of supererogation and perfection, in great and important things as well, as in small and unimportant ones, for nothing that can be offered to you is negligible. O Lord, I wish to show you continually how great are my desires and my love by performing all my actions with loving diligence. The more generous and liberal I am in serving you, the more will I receive the fruits of your generosity compare BLM to Resubaran, 